So we have this toilet that had some buildup right around the ring where the water level is at. And so I used some of this, uh, where is it? Some of the sandpaper to get rid of it. But now there's, uh, you know, some scratches and it looks kind of worn down. So what I'm gonna try to do here is paint the inside of the bowl uh, using a combination of this paint and primer that kind of matches the color of the toilet um, as well as this gloss protective enamel um, and so I actually have no idea how this is going to turn out um, but I guess we'll find out. So I started by duct taping the, si the sides of the bowl um, or the upper lip and then we'll just be spraying within the, within the center here so all right so I've added a little bit of the first coat. I kind of sprayed, you know, you really want to start from the side and then move over. So I've added a little more tape so I can do that for the next round, but here you can see a little bit of a, uh, well, it's hard to see, uh, but there's a little bit of dripping that happens. So, you know, thin coats will kind of show you what, it, what you're supposed to kind of do. So, you know, be about maybe a foot or two feet away and then just start from the side. And then just go across. And it might not look like a lot, but it, you know, there's actually, it's actually sticking, so and after a few coats, it'll be good. Again, we're a couple coats in. You can see that line is uh, you know, kind of disappearing. Um, but, oh shit. The, uh, there's water dripping at the bottom. So yeah, just gotta make sure you hopefully don't run into that problem where there's water down there. So this has become a nightmare. Now I gotta try to get that water out without ruining the wet paint. Oh jeez. All right. Well, one thing to note when I when I was doing this. I accidentally turned the can upside down and tried to spray paint, you know, the underside, but it came out a little chunky, so now it's a little rough on there. Um, but I'll put a couple more coats and try to even it out a little bit. Alright, so we just finished applying that first can. Uh, this stuff right here, Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer. Um, so it's, it looks like it's pretty evenly coated. Um, you don't see any more of that uh, original, you know, rim bowl lining. Um, so after this part, I'll let that dry for a little bit, and then I'll try to add this uh, gloss, make it all shiny again. Hopefully that kind of makes the toilet look back, uh, you know, look new, look new again. So we'll see. All right. Well, I'm still in the middle of doing this, but. One thing to add for when you guys attempt this is possibly add some newspapers so you don't get it on the carpet like I have. Um, so, all right. So I just applied the final coating. Um, it's really hard to see. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's pretty even, um, and I'll probably I'll let that dry overnight, and then we'll come back in the morning and take a look. All right. So now it's the following morning, um, and hopefully it had had some time to dry. And so let me just kind of stick my finger somewhere where I can try it out. Feels pretty good, feels pretty smooth. Um, no paint on my hands, but I probably want to give it a couple, maybe another day or so before I actually try to flush it and get the water back in. Uh, but it looks actually like a pretty solid job. All right, so now I'm gonna take this tape off and uh, yeah, I'm still gonna let it dry for a little longer. 
all right uh so there you have it guys um you know the bowl's evenly coated uh, looks pretty good just make sure when you guys do this uh you know wear a mask um and again just so you guys know what i used uh, this is the final coating I had, the Rust-Oleum, and then here's that first uh, first layer that I put on, paint and primer. So thanks for watching.